you see what it is, we're not even going to delay. Let's do this. Hello, welcome to GI Reviews with the Ruckus. I am the Ruckus. How are you guys doing? You see what we got going on here? I had to uh, come with this one because we are here at the end of the year and uh, this guy is uh, tentatively scheduled for next year. If you look him up, he actually, or I should say they, they have the release date as 2024. And here we are at the tail end of 2023. I figured I may as well end my year, our year, GI Reviews with the Ruckus's year with a bang and come up with G.I. Joe Classified Series number 113 in the line. We are talking about Mutt and Junkyard, the two-pack. Our third, if you will, uh, human and uh, canine two-pack. We've had two previous ones. Both were uh, Snake Eyes and Timber, two different kinds there. And uh, we've got this now. And uh, I may as well get uh, my own personal elephant out of the room. I would have loved to have uh, Snake Eyes and Temper either version out for uh, comparison. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do that because uh, I can't get to them. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I can't uh, use them for comparison. And uh, that's going to be the uh, situation with a lot of uh, my G.I. Joe figures um, for the foreseeable future. Whenever I can, uh, you know, I like to do comparisons uh, that uh, I don't know how to really uh, phrase it. Make sense, if you will, like uh, comparing Mutt and Junkyard with Snake Eyes and Temper. That kind of makes sense. But um, I'll try to compare some with, you know, with something, I'll try to compare whatever I'm reviewing with something, and uh, I because I just don't feel right uh, doing a uh, review and not comparing the figure with uh, with anything. So I'll try something. Um, it won't be exactly what I like, and this won't be with everything. I do have um, access to some of my stuff, just not all of it at this time. So um, you guys have been warned. So uh, those of you that rock with me. Uh, you know, bear with me. If you're new, uh, like and subscribe. May as well get that uh, out the way now. I'm going to repeat it again at the end of the video. But yeah, do that. And uh, yeah, so that's how it's going to be. And uh, you see the packaging. This is window packaging. So I'm gonna, let's talk about that now. Got the window packaging, the return of the window packaging. You see Mutt and you see Junkyard, all the accessories. There's some nice artwork there. You see that artwork on the side there at number 113. Then we get to the back. Something carried over from the previous windowless packaging, and that is the toy photography. And I'm glad about that. We'll uh, take a closer look at all of that when we get Mutt and junkyard off of the base. So now giving you a better look at the packaging while it's not rotating, spinning round and round and round and round, you can see you've got our man Mutt over there on our right. And uh, you see uh, he comes with several sets of hands, several sets. Uh, you see that the knife there, decent amount of accessories for sure. And uh, He's got his weapons over there above uh, Junkyard. And you see Junkyard, he's wearing the uh, the uh, the vest there. And he comes with two uh, additional head sculpt, uh, one additional head sculpt, which we will check out. Looking at that packaging, you've got the Jejo Classified Series there below. And over there off to our right, you have some nice artwork of Mutt and uh, uh, Growling Junkyard. Pretty nice there. On one side, we've got that artwork that we saw on the front as well as number 113. The other side, we've got that 113, a silhouetted version of that same artwork, the useless QR code, and the four icons showing Mutt's abilities. Here on the back is something that I'm very happy about. Uh, the one thing out of all of uh, Hasbro's brands uh, going uh, windowless, it took... Uh, one uh, generation of uh, figures 
for uh, G.I. Joe Classified series with that uh, crazy, the crazy artwork. You know, a lot of you guys, I'm sure you remember that to get it right. Then they came out with the toy photography and uh, that was they had the best windowless uh packaging out of all of Hasbro's brands and I'm glad that we've got the uh, window packaging back but I was sad uh, at the thought that we may lose this right here the uh, toy photography action figure photography but they carried that over to the back so we get the both of uh, the best of both worlds and I am here for it you got out there on the right showing um, Mutt's uh, Mutt's uh, head sculpt without uh, helmet and mask. And then you see uh, he's got, uh, you got the, um, what they're showing, uh, the, the, uh, the, the uh, me not the magazine, but you know what I'm saying, where he carries additional shells. And uh, he's got an emblem up there. I believe that is something to do with uh, being a, uh, a, a an animal handler. And then, of course, you've got the uh, other head sculpt of uh, of uh, Junkyard. As you see, he's got the uh, the uh, gritting teeth going on uh, in the uh, toy photography. And whereas that other photo is showing him with his uh, mouth open and the tongue, you know, hanging off to the side there. All right. So we have Mutt and Junkyard both out of their packaging. Uh, you see them back there. We will take a closer look at them momentarily but uh, before we do that we have to check out the accessories you saw everything they came with in packaging but now it's time to check them out close up we'll start with junkyard first he's got this other head sculpt as you can see that from far away we're going to uh, take a closer look at it so now you can see what we're working with here. Very nice head sculpt. I love it. He's got the tongue hanging out of his out of his mouth, the right side of his mouth. Very, very good looking uh head sculpt there. Got a nice looking canine there. The uh the paint apps are, are just absolutely great. This is uh I'm I'm loving this. And now all the rest of the accessories are for uh, Mutt. We'll start with the uh, weapons package here. We've got this knife molded in black and painted silver. So you can see what we got going on there. We also have his uh, sidearm molded in black, but it's got a nice uh, green paint application. Looks pretty nice. I like it. And then uh, we also have this going on right here. Same thing, the green uh, paint and the magazine is removable, as you can see. So, yeah, that's pretty nice as well. But here's what I like, his baton. The head cracker right here. You got the skull cracker. You got to love this. Molded in a uh, flat black. It does have uh, the uh, textures around both handles. So, yeah, pretty doggone nice. Then um, we'll look at, he's got, I guess we should do this one first because the uh, next uh, set of accessories will have something to do with it. We've got his helmet. As you can see, it's just, uh, as well, it's not uh, camouflage or anything like that. It's just, uh, it's like a charcoal grayish color. And... Uh, the reason I led with that is because we get also with this uh, this set for uh, Mutt. He comes with goggles, polarized lenses, and he comes with a, a pair of them, or I should say two pair. Technically, this is a smaller pair. This is to fit around his head and eyes, and then they come with a larger pair that I'll demonstrate right here that you can fit over the helmet still kind of small be careful because you can easily snap this i remember a few years ago with the target exclusive uh cobra vipers i was trying to put it around the uh, helmet the top of the head and mine popped so uh but yeah see 
there you go. And he also comes with this muzzle. And uh, it actually showed him using the muzzle on the uh, package art. So, uh, yeah, pretty nice there. We've got some red and green paint apps. So, yeah, that's pretty cool right there. And uh, to finish it off with the accessories for Junkyard, or excuse me, for Mutt, he comes with uh, a fist to get him started. This is uh, for the right hand, molded in black, and it's got like these brown patches on top there. So you got that. We have kind of, uh, I think that this is supposed to be a... Uh, you know, a signal hand, command hand for uh, junkyard. The way it's shaped, it's not a trigger finger, but it uh, it's a, some type of gesture, and I think that that's a command for uh, to to give junkyard. That's what I'm thinking. And this is another one that I think is a command. It looks like you know the uh, mamma mia kind of uh, gesture if you turn it upside down, but it 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 looks like it's another command type of a hand. And then you have this hand right here that uh, is uh, not grasping per se. And I kind of sort of think that this is also a command hand. Just the way how it's uh, shaped, you know, the, the position that it's molded in. I think that that's what it's for. And then this is definitely a command hand because it's a pointer. So you see that right there. And finally, we have this right here. They're all, obviously, you could use them all to, you know, simulate commands to the dog. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. All in all, three additional pair of hands. And uh, Mutt comes out of packaging with two trigger finger hands. Let's take a look at Junkyard first. The, uh, the whole design, the sculpt is very nice very nice it's uh i think um actually it's an improvement uh even though they're two different species of uh dog i think that uh junkyard uh aesthetically and in terms of what i mean i don't mean just the type of dog i'm the breed but um how hasbro's put it together i think that uh junkyard has come out uh looking um articulation parts and everything better than timber but um that could also be because uh you know uh this particular breed of dog uh is more suitable for all the uh the joints of articulation but be that as it may it does look good as far as that articulation is concerned you see that this is the other before we even get into that take a look at the other head sculpt that he came out of packaging with where he's uh growling and uh yeah it's very nice one he's got the uh you know the uh i'll call it the happy dog look and this one he's not so happy but uh before we go into articulation he's got that uh, red collar with the studs on it and then of course he's got the uh, vest and it's got a handle there for uh mutt to be able to hold him at bay and then you know give him the signal to go attack and then let him go so that's pretty nice. It's uh, just basically molded. It's an overlay. It's molded in uh, two colors of green. You see, you've got two greens there. Pretty nice. And uh, well, now we'll get into the articulation. He's got uh, some neck, some neck movement, as you can see there. He can uh, rotate and go slightly up and slightly down. Uh, I just uh, popped off the head, but I snapped it back on real quick. So when you're doing that, the head does have a uh, tendency to want to pop off. You can uh, move the head left and right, rotate it independent of the neck. So you can still get some good uh, articulation if you combine the two. So that's pretty good. Body, we'll do the body next. Torso, midway, you can see right there, he can swing left, right, and up and down at that torso area four limbs they can go out they can splay out as you can see right there and they rotate front 
and back. He can uh, get that uh, the elbow, if you will. There's some articulation there, but it's real tight, and that's about as far as it'll go there. Then at the uh, ankle, you've got that, and then at the paw itself, the paw itself goes uh, down that far, up that far, and there is no ankle pivot there, or, or paw pivot, because the... For canines and animals, you know, most that are, you know, have this kind of a four limb design, that right there is considered the ankle. Hind limbs, he could splay out that far. He could go forward that much, back that much. He uh, he can move, he can bend at the knee, but it's real hard, and and it does uh, swivel at the knee too. So keep that in mind. At the uh, ankle, you could, uh, you've got articulation go forward and back, and the paw, same deal, up and down, and no pivot. So, and of course, he's been his tail has been barbed, so uh, he doesn't have to worry about you, you know you know tail articulation for this guy. But uh, yeah, that is junkyard. All right, now it's Mutt's turn. And, uh, you know, this is a classic G.I. Joe, so there's not going to be anything too different in terms of the articulation. We'll still go over it, but just to let you know, in terms of the aesthetics, his appearance, you got that, uh, his, uh, he's got that mustache going on, and he's got that very stern look, like uh, he means business. Uh, he's got this shirt, and they, he's got skin showing under there. They, they actually... Has some paint there to show that he's got hair on his chest, which is uh, which is interesting. And the same thing goes for his right uh, forearm. He's got uh, paint apps there uh, demonstrating hair there. And you don't have to worry about the left because he's got that gauntlet, which this right there is, uh, um, if I'm not mistaken, that's used like uh, w when you're training a dog uh, like a Rottweiler. Uh, with these very strong, powerful bites, and you get you uh, you tell them to attack, and they attack the arm with the gauntlet on, and that protects you. So that's what that's for. Uh, he's got his own vest there, and you could see up here a part of the uh, vest is uh, we saw that picture uh, on the back of the packaging, and it's got some shells going on there, and then you got that emblem. He's a uh, certified uh, canine trainer. You got some nice uh, paint apps there, both with the shells showing kind of gold or maybe even platinum colored, and the uh, that emblem is silver painted. And then you've got the zip up, uh, or not? They're not zippers. They're actually uh, left and right latches, and a zipper. Uh, now that I'm seeing it even better, uh, painted nice and black. So that's cool. He's got his utility belt, got pouches and stuff. Just molded in the same brown as the rest of the uh, vest. Of course, the straps of the vest has got a, like a red color. I'm going to turn to the rear because you can see it a little bit better that way. And of course, like I said, all uh, this type of uh, brown. He's got a grenade. Uh, actually, it's not a grenade. It looks like some type of spray canister. Uh, maybe a fire, um, um, you know, uh, for um, exterminating uh, fires. It kind of, that's what it looks like anyway. Uh, I'll try to uh, get in close up and then you guys can tell me what you think. So you see that right there. See, it's got the whole configuration of a fire extinguisher, a mini fire extinguisher. It could be something else, though. Uh, it could be, yeah, it could be some type of, uh, I don't want to say mace or something. You know, it could be, but uh, you see what it looks like. Anyway, continuing with the review and looking at him from the rear. Uh, basically, uh, the figure is molded in a green kind of a, it's pretty vibrant um, in person. I hope that uh, translates to the video. He's got that on his uh, right thigh, his uh, holster for his uh, sidearm. Um, and uh, coming back to the front, once again on that vest, uh, focusing on the vest, he's got a sheath for that knife. And... Uh, you see the brown uh, pads on the knees, and then his boots 
are uh, brown and actually we actually get some paint for the uh, laces uh, with the boots and then on the top of the boots as well so that is uh, very nice to see articulation wise head is on a uh, dumbbell and the neck is as well so you get all of this going on he could look up only that much those dumbbells they really do limit the uh, looking up he can look down in combination with the neck that far of course he can lean with it rock with it and rotate 360 his shoulders you can get him into a nice t-pose you do have the 360 degree uh, rotation butterfly joints he can rear back pretty decently this far see profile right there that's nice in terms of uh trying to clap let's see what we got here hmm that one seems to be stuck what can i do there to alleviate that let's see if i go down there we go it was just a little tight but yeah that's as close as you're going to get in terms of uh trying to clasp his hands together so you're not going to get much that way he does have the bicep swivel wear uh, pinless all over the place so double jointed you see what we got going on there he can uh rotate at the wrist and he has uh vertical wrist hinges and that's for uh both sides there and uh as far as torso he's on a uh he's got a uh, waist dumb uh, a bell joint for the waist so he can twist and he can go left and right and uh, he can only bend a little bit because you know the vest you know what's up with gi joe and they're classified so you know as long as we have these vests as overlays this is what we're going to get but i still say that's better than playing the role and having a painted on vests to, uh in the comments below tell me if you agree or disagree with that you can go back about that far not much at all hips and get out that far he's got the drop downs as you can see i'll push him back up he can kick basically 90 go back that far we've got the thigh swivel knees like i said before double jointed all over the place kind of tight but you see how much range he gets there and snap in the back swivels at the top of the boot ankle pivot or rather he could point his toe forward that far i'm getting ahead of myself up almost non-existent he does have the ankle pivot and holes at the bottom of his feet so our guy uh mutt like I said, when it comes to uh, articulation, standard and uh, very good articulation, uh, as you've come to expect from G.I. Joe Classify series. Here we have Mutt with his helmet on and the uh, polarized lenses and his uh, mask. And yeah, that's definitely indicated, indicating that uh, that canister in the back is some sort of uh, gas. And that's why he's got his mask on. So uh, I think that mystery has been solved. Junkyard, you see, he's sporting his other head with the uh, the uh, tongue hanging out of the mouth. I think that is uh, pretty cool. Uh, Mutt is uh, he's got his uh, knife sheath and his sidearm holstered. There is no place, unfortunately, for him to uh, store the baton. It is what it is, and of course he's got the uh, other set of polarized lenses that uh, is supposed to be the same ones he's wearing. But uh, you take you take the existing pair that we see there off his eyes, and you put the uh, larger pair around his helmet. So uh, still pretty decent. Here's our dynamic duo with Mutt blazing the uh, baton in a defensive posture, and he's got the. Uh, the lenses on top of his uh, helmet and of course we got junkyard uh in a position ready to pounce upon command here's our team supreme we've got mutt uh pointing at the target ready to unleash junkyard who is ripping and raring to go 
And I did say that even though I don't have access to Snake Eyes and Timber, either version, that I still try to find uh, a comparison to do that makes sense. So uh, <laughs> take it as you will. I came up with this. Battle of the Mustaches. You've got Rikondo. Tiger Force. Rikondo, I should say. We're going to get a uh, retro-carded version of him, if I'm not mistaken. And here we have Dusty. And uh, what we got going on here is Battle of the uh, Polarized Lenses. Wrapping this one up, we're talking about G.I. Joe Classified Series number 113, the duo, the duo, the duo, duo, dynamic duo, the Team Supreme. We're talking about Mutt and Junkyard. Dog get you, dog get you, don't let the dog get you. Very nice very nice set this was uh it is not was if you look it up this is really supposed to be a 2024 release but they have leaked out i uh, was fortunate enough to get uh mine early and uh via amazon um believe it or not and uh very happy about that so that's why i figured i may as well close out the year hopefully with a bang we'll see after um this video is uploaded and I check out what the uh, viewership will be like. Hopefully that'll give uh, give the channel some kind of a boost. Anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about the figure itself. We're not here to discuss channel issues. We're here to discuss or to close out, to sum up, to summarize what I think about uh, Mutt and Junkyard here. Very nice two-pack uh, I'm going to start with uh, Junkyard. I love this dog. Um, the articulation is there. Uh, as far as the hind legs are concerned, I do believe I can that, that they're supposed to bend at the knees more than they do. Just looking at them, they look like they're supposed to bend. And uh, I may have to do an extended heating period to see if that works. Um, I got the dog, as you can see, it mostly crouched, but uh, not as far down as I would have liked. But I'm um, pretty good for this final shot. Nice articulation. One thing I will uh, advise you guys on. Um, you need to, uh, you're not going to pop either of the heads on. You're going to have to like screw them on or not screw necessarily, twist them. Uh, they don't pop on. If you try to pop them, they, uh, they don't really seat. But uh, still pretty nice. Both head sculpts are great for uh, Junkyard. And uh, yeah, he's... Uh, very nice and posable uh, of the uh, the articulation uh, sections that I was able to mess with. And I do believe I can get those rear knees to work. As far as Mutt, uh, very nice figure. All the uh, articulation that we've come to enjoy from a classified series figure. Uh, he can draw back pretty far with those butterfly joints. And uh, there's no clapping. You can scratch that. That's once again because the overlay vest gets in the way that's just part of it and i would prefer the the overlay over painted on vests which is a good um topic of discussion in the comment section below are you team paint on or team overlay or no vests at all you know uh choose he comes with a very nice uh, loadout of accessories and uh he can't hold everything on his person uh, almost everything. The only thing that uh, would be left out if you got if you have him with his uh, sidearm holstered and his uh, knife sheathed and him holding his rifle, the uh, baton. Unless you have him just slinging the rifle with one hand, then he can hold the baton. There's no place on his on his person to actually house the baton. Uh, the two uh, polarized lenses, one for the helmet, one for the face, and then of course the gas mask. On the back of his utility belt, he has a canister that. Um, is uh, it does uh, emit eject a uh, a gaseous element? That's why he has the uh, face mask for that. He's got uh, in uh, addition to the uh, set of uh, trigger finger hands that he came out of package with. He has three pair of other hands, including you could basically use all of them, the hands that he comes with, as some type of command for uh, junkyard, and that even includes the fist. You know, so uh, I think that's pretty good right there. So, yeah, this all in all, very nice uh, two-pack. Happy to have it. Uh, 
If you're into it, hope you get yours. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. While you're down there, give that thumbs up, hit that like button. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, help boost the channel a little bit. You're going to be notified when I upload another video. Hit that notification bell and notified you shall be. On behalf of Mutt and of course, Junkyard, good boy. Take care, guys. Peace.